first lecture of second unit complex integration in the course 19MA204 complex variables and ordinary differential equations. So, under this uh, unit, we are having the topics or line integral, Cauchy's integral theorem, Cauchy's integral formula, Taylor's and Lorentz series, singularities, residues, residue theorem, application of residue theorem for evaluating of real integrals, use of circular contour and semicircular contour. So, these topics we are having in this particular complex integration. So, after completion of this uh, unit, students can understand the fundamental concept of complex analysis and apply them to evaluate contour integrals. This is our course out outcome of this particular unit. In this video, I am going to discuss about line integral and Cauchy's integral theorem and Cauchy's integral formula. Uses of complex variable. Complex variable techniques have been used in a wide variety of areas of engineering. This has been particularly true uh, in areas such as electromagnetic field theory and fluid dynamics, aerodynamics, etc. So, what do you mean by complex variable? In basic algebra, the variables x and y are real numbers. The algebra of complex numbers, the complex variable z can be represented as x plus i y form. Here, i is an imaginary unit that value is square root of minus 1. Square root of minus 1 value is i. So, in the complex variable, z can be represented as x plus i y form. Here, both x and y are real variables. As well as, we can write the complex function f of z equal to, this is complex variable. So, complex function notation is f of z that can be also uh, written in the real and imaginary parts as like p of x comma y plus i into q of x comma y form. So, here p of x comma y is an real part and q of x comma y is an imaginary part. That means i coefficient is imaginary part. So, this is in variable form and this is in function form in complex analysis. Let us move on to the Cauchy's integral theorem. This is very important to mark question. If f of z is analytic and f dash of z is continuous inside and on a simple closed curve C, then integral over C f of z d z equal to 0. This is Cauchy's integral theorem. We do not have any other problem under this category. So, the statement alone we are having. Next, move on to the Cauchy's integral formula. f of z is analytic inside and on a simple closed curve C, and z0 is any point inside the curve C. Then f of z0, z0 is any point, f of z0 is equal to 1 by 2 pi i integral over c f of z by z minus z0 into dz. Otherwise, we may write this integral, integral over c f of z, z minus z0 into dz is equal to 2 pi i into f of z0. We may write this uh, form also. We just want to multiply this 2 pi i into left hand side. If the curve lies outside at z comma z equal to z naught means this integral value becomes 0. Which means they are given on closed curve value. We need to check whether the given point is inside or outside the given curve. Suppose the point outside the given curve means we need to take the given integral values equal to 0. Cauchy's integral formula for nth derivative. So, f power n of z0 is equal to n factorial by 2 pi i integral over c f of z by z minus z0 power n plus 1 into dz. Problems under this category, the first problem, evaluate integral over c dz by z plus 4, where c is the circle modulus of z equal to 2. 
they are given the closed curve c is mod z equal to 2 as well as uh, in the given integral is d z by z plus 4. Let us write the Cauchy's integral formula f of z0 is equal to 1 by 2 pi i into integral over c f of z by z minus z0 into d z. So, therefore, this particular integral is equal to 2 pi i into f of z0. We need to know what is z0 and what is f of z from the given integral. So, in the denominator z minus something we may have know that is z0. So, therefore, in this particular problem z0 is minus 4. They are given z plus 4. You just compare these two. The given integral into the uh, Cauchy's integral formula. In the place of z0 I am having minus 4. As well as f of z in the numerator I am having 1. So, therefore, f of z equal to 1. So, I need to find out f of z0 value. That means, we need to substitute this z0 into this f of z. I will get before that we need to check whether the given point is lies inside the given circle or outside. I am just replacing this z0 into this particular z place in the given circle. I will get uh, 4 is uh, 4 is not equal to 2. So, therefore, this is definitely lies outside the circle mod z equal to 2. So, therefore, the integral value equal to 0. The z0 point is lies outside the circle mod z equal to 2 means. So, the given integral value we need to take as 0 lies inside means we need to substitute z0 value into f of z and substitute that f of z0 value into this particular formula we need to find this integral value. So, obviously z, uh, when I am taking the modulus on z0 we will get uh, that is greater than 2 means obviously that is uh, lies outside. So, therefore, the given integral value is 0. Let us move on to the second problem evaluate integral over c z minus 2 by z into z minus 1 into d z where c is the circle mod z equal to 3. So, we know that the formula is integral over c f of z by z minus z naught into d z equal to 2 pi i into f of z naught. So, in the denominator I am having more than one factors. So, therefore, I cannot able to use this formula for that for separating into single uh, term. I am using the partial fraction. So, let us take uh, the previous uh, given integral denominator value alone 1 by z into z minus 1. I am using partial fraction for 1 by z into z minus 1. That is equal to a by z plus b by z minus 1. After taking, uh, after taking LCM in the right hand side, I will get a into z minus 1 plus b z by z into z minus 1 both the denominator getting cancelled and finally I will get 1 is equal to a into z minus 1 plus b z. For finding a and b value I need to give some substitution for z. So, when I am substituting z equal to 1 I will get b is equal to 1. When I am substituting z equal to 0 in this particular equation I will get uh, a is equal to minus 1. I am replacing this constants into equation number 1. This equation become 1 by z into z minus 1 is equal to a value minus 1. So, therefore, minus 1 by z plus b value 1, 1 by z minus 1. The given integral becomes integral z minus 2 by z into z minus 1 into dz is equal to for the this. Uh, 1 by z into z minus b uh, z minus 1 can be separated like uh, minus 1 by z plus 1 by z minus 1. So, in that multiple with this integral z minus 2 into dz, I will get uh, minus z minus 2 by z into dz plus z minus 2 by z minus 1 into dz. In place of 1 by z into z minus 1, I am replacing minus 1 by z plus 1 by z minus 1. I am separating that now. I will get like this. Now, I may having in the first term z0 value is 0. In the second term z0 value is 1. 
So both are lies inside the circle modulus of z equal to 3 because while I am replacing z equal to 0 in place of z uh, in this given circle I will get uh, that is equal to 0 that is obviously less than 3. One, uh, while I am replacing 1 I will get 1 modulus of z value 1 that is also less than 3 it is also lies uh, inside the given circle. So both are lies inside so we need to apply a formula for the both term. So for the first term in this place f of z equal to z minus 2 at z equal to 0 f of z value become minus 2 at z equal to 1 f of z value become minus 1. So therefore since the formula is integral over c f of z by z minus z naught into d z equal to 2 pi i into f of z naught. In this place I am having minus so therefore minus 2 pi i into f of z naught plus 2 pi i into f of z naught. Here f of 0 value because here z naught is 0 f of 0 value is minus 2 here z naught is 1. So therefore f of 1 f of 1 value is minus 1. After simplifying I will get the final answer is 3 pi i. So this is our final answer for the given integral. Let us move on to the next problem. Using Cauchy's integral formula, evaluate integral over c cos pi z square z minus 1 into z minus 2 into dz where modulus of z equal to 3 by 2. Here also the denominator more than one term is there. We need to use the partial fraction. Before that I am writing the formula for Cauchy's integral. Cauchy's integral formula is f of z by z minus z naught into dz equal to 2 pi i into f of z naught. The denominator must contain only one factor then only we, we can go for this formula otherwise we need to apply the partial fraction. So let us go to the partial fraction for the given problem. So I may consider only 1 by z minus 1 into z minus 2. So after applying that a by z minus 1 plus b by z minus 2. After taking LCM uh, and denominator getting cancelled the remaining things are 1 is equal to a into z minus 2 plus b into z minus 1. So for finding a and b value, I am going to use some substitution for z. While I am substituting z equal to 1, I will get a is equal to minus 1. So when I am replacing z equal to 2, I will get b is equal to 1. I am replacing this a and b value into this equation number 1. It become 1 by z minus 1 into z minus 2 which is equal to a value minus 1 minus 1 by z minus 1 plus b value 1 1 by z minus 2. I may using uh, instead of 1 by z minus 1 z minus 2 is equal to minus 1 by z minus 1 plus 1 by z minus 2 into the given integral. So the given integral become so this is equal to minus of because minus 1 by so minus of cos pi z square by z minus 1 into dz plus 1 by 1 into cos pi z square by z minus 2 into dz. Now I want to check whether the both denominator lies inside the given circle or not. Given circle is 3 by 2. 3 by 2 means 1.5. So in the first term denominator is it not equal to 1. In the second term denominator is it not equal to 2. While I am replacing z equal to 1 in this particular given curve so modulus of z equal to modulus of 1 is equal to 1 that is obviously less than 1.5 lies inside. So next while I am replacing z equal to 2 modulus of z is uh, 2 which is not less than uh, 1.5. So therefore this is lies outside. So we uh, automatically we may take this particular integral second term. Uh, integral value equal to 0 because this is lies outside the given circle. So we need to find out only the first term value in the place is it not equal to 1. So uh, now I am finding f of uh, z not value f of z equal to the numerator I am having cos pi z square. While I am replacing uh, z, z equal to 1 I will get cos pi values equal to minus 1. So therefore 
because uh, no need to find out uh, f of this value no need to find out this value because uh, this uh, integral uh, x is it not lies outside uh, so no need to go for this and all so therefore i am writing this again here uh, minus is there in the numerator 2 pi i, this integral is equal to 2 pi i into f of z naught this is also 2 pi i into f of z naught this whole value becomes 0 because this z um, z naught is lies outside the given circle now f of z naught value here is it not equal to 1 f of 1 previously i found that is minus 1 so therefore minus 2 pi i into minus 1 value is 2 pi i so the given um, the given problem integral cos pi z square by z minus 1 into z minus 2 into dz value is 2 pi i. Let us move on to the next problem. Use, using Cauchy's integral formula evaluate integral over c z by z minus 1 into z minus 2 the whole square into dz where c is the circle mod z equal to half. So we know that the Cauchy's integral formula is this. And the derivative formula, why am you I why am taking derivative? The denominator part is more than 1. So that's why I'm also consider the derivative formula. So integral over C f of z by z minus z naught whole power n plus 1 into d z equal to 2 pi i into n factorial into f power n of z naught. This is not f of z power n, f power n of z. So now Again, denominator more than one term is there in the given problem. We need to go to the partial fraction. So when I am using the partial fraction, the given term is uh, the given term is z by z minus one into z minus two the whole square. So I am applying the partial fraction for that. A by z minus one, z minus two the whole square. So therefore, I need to write b by z minus two plus c by z minus two the whole square like that. We need to develop. So next I am taking the LCM in the denominator z minus 1 into z minus 2 the whole square in the right hand side. So after that the numerator become a into z minus 2 the whole square plus b into z minus 1 into z minus 2 plus c into z minus 1 whole divides z minus 1 into z minus 2 the whole square both the denominator getting cancelled the numerator become z equal to a into z minus 2 the whole square plus b into z minus 1 into z minus 2 plus c into z minus 1 while i'm substituting uh, some values for z i will get a values equal to 1 and b values equal to minus 1 and c values equal to 2 because for finding a value uh, we need to eliminate b and c for that i need to substitute z equal to 1 then only these two terms getting cancelled so therefore z equal to 1 means i will get a value for finding uh, b value i need to eliminate a and c so a and c i cannot able to substitute uh, i cannot able to eliminate directly for that i am replacing z equal to 0 um, it may form some equation so before that i am having a value as well as c value i am replacing any one of the value here i will get b value like how we need to find out the constant values we can find c value direct away because while I am replacing a z, z equal to 2, these two a, b terms are getting cancelled. So, z value direct away I can find. Okay. I am replacing all the a, b, c value into the equation number 1. So, I will get uh, the left hand side is equal to 1 by z minus 1 minus 1 by z minus 2 plus 2 by z minus 2 the whole square. So the given problem is integral over c z by z minus 1 into z minus 2 the whole square into into dz. I am using this form in place of uh, this particular thing in the given integral. So the integral become integral 1 by z minus 1 into dz minus 1 by z minus 2 into dz plus integral 2 by z minus 2 the whole square into dz because so we are simplified this whole thing into like this that's why after replacing this value i am just separating this integrals now i am using the formula in the denominator i am having whole power 1 the given uh, circle is modulus of z minus 2 is equal to half 
why in the first term I am having z0 equal to 1 I am substituting z equal to 1 into the given uh, circle equation so I will get 1 minus 2 is equal to simplification value gives 1 that is um, that is not less than or equal to half that is greater than half so therefore this is lies outside and the second time aha, I am having 2 so while I am replacing 2 in place of z 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 0 is obviously less than half this is lies inside in this third term also I am having is a uh, is it not value 2 so the same thing only I am getting for third term also okay so we need to find out both uh, is it not equal to 1 and is it not equal to 2 means f of z and f dash of z here I am going to use the derivative formula also that is why f of z equal to 1 because the numerator what I am having in this particular one 1 so therefore f of z equal to 1 so therefore f dash of z value is 0 at z equal to 1 f of 1 value is 1 at z equal to 2 f of 2 is equal to 1 again because constant at z equal to f dash of 2 also 0. So now I am using these values into uh, the above integral. So this integral formula Cauchy's integral formula is here f of z equal to 1 2 pi i into f of z naught and here f of z equal to 1 here also f of z equal to 1 because 2 as a constant. Now 2 pi i into f of z0 z equal to 1 lies outside in the previously I found that this is lies outside so therefore this whole integral value becomes 0 this is lies inside this is also lies inside here the power is 2 more than 1 so therefore we need to apply the derivative formula 2 pi i by n factorial uh, f power here is um, 2 so therefore f power n minus 1 by n minus 1 so therefore here n is equal to 2 2 minus 1 is 1 of z0 uh, now this is lies outside minus 2 pi i into f of z0 f of 1 value is f of 1 value is 1 so therefore of course f of 2 value sorry here is it not equal to 2 f of 2 value is 1 so therefore I am substituting f of 2 value here so minus 2 pi i into 1 this in this place uh, f dash of 2 because is it not equal to 2 no f dash of 2 f dash of f dash of z value 0 so therefore f dash of 2 value is also 0 the whole thing also 0 the first and last integral values become 0 we will get alone the middle one minus 2 pi i into f of 2 f of 2 we already found that is 1 the final answer is minus 2 pi i so this is the value of the given integral integral z by z minus 1 into z minus 2 the whole square into dz let us move on to the next problem integral over c sin pi z square plus cos pi z square by z minus 1 the whole square into z minus 2 into dz around modulus of z equal to 3 here the given uh, circle is modulus of z equal to 3 we know that the Cauchy's integral formula and the corresponding derivative formula now I am applying the uh, partial fraction for the given function because in the denominator I am having more than one factor a by I am having on the first uh, on the first term I am having square so therefore a by z minus 1 plus b by z minus 1 the whole square plus c by z minus 2. Now I am taking LCM and cancel out the denominator finally I will get sin pi z square plus cos pi z square is equal to a into z minus 2 into z minus 1 plus b into z minus 2 plus c into z minus 2 the whole square. From the above equation for finding a b c value I am going to use some substitution for z. For finding a value I need to make b and z or 0. b and c or 0 I cannot able to make both are 0. I can easily find c value 
for uh, using direct substitution for that i'm finding c at first while i'm replacing z equal to 2 i'll get in the left hand side 2 square value become 4 sine 4 pi and cos 4 pi which is equal to this 0 and this is also 0 so 2 minus 1 the whole square that is 1 which is equal to c so therefore sine 4 pi value 0 cos 4 pi 4 pi is an even pi all pi values of sine is 0 and even pi values of cos is plus 1 so therefore this become 1 c is equal to 1 and um, z equal to while i am replacing z equal to 1 first and last value get eliminated i will get b into the right hand side i am get b into 1 minus uh, 2 is minus 1 so therefore minus b in the left hand side in place of z i am replacing 1 i will get sin pi plus cos pi sin pi value 0 cos pi value minus 1 look at the general formula sin n pi is equal to 0 and cos pi n pi is equal to minus 1 power n while i am replacing odd values at the minus 1 power n i will get minus 1 so therefore cos pi value is minus 1 so minus 1 is equal to minus b b is equal to 1 and finally i am for finding a value uh, yeah i am having b and c no for finding a value put z equal to 0 i will get in the left hand side sin 0 cos 0 right hand side 2a because z 0 means minus 2 into minus 1 that become plus 2 2a uh, minus 2b plus c i am substituting b and c value in the right hand side in the left hand side sin 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1 so therefore after simplifying a is equal to 2 so i am getting a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1 replace all those values into equation number 1 i will get this structure in place of cos pi z square plus sin pi z square plus cos pi z square by z minus 1 the whole square into z minus 2 so therefore the integral is equal to 2 times of in the numerator in the first term I am having 2 no. So therefore 2 times of integral 1 by z minus 1 into dz plus 1 by z minus 2 the whole square into dz plus integral 1 by z minus 2 the z minus 2 into dz. In the first integral f of z is numerator I am having only 1. So f of z is 1. Uh, before that I want to check whether the z note or lies inside or outside the first integral i am having z0 is 1 the given a circle equation is modulus of z equal to 3 in place of z i am replacing this z0 that is equal to 1 modulus of z equal to 1 obviously that is less than 3 which is lies inside in the second term also i am having z0 1 that is also lies inside third term i am having my 2 so z equal to 2 means modulus of z value is 2 that is also less than 3 so therefore this is also lies inside for all the denominator z0 values are lies inside the given circle modulus of z equal to 3 we may getting all the three values integral values in the first integral f of z equal to 1 second integral f of z equal to 1 third integral f of z equal to 1 so therefore here also i need to apply uh, the derivative formula because in the second term par is more than 1 therefore i am finding f dash of z f of z equal to 1 means f dash of z equal to 0 at z equal to 1 f of z value is 1 at z equal to 2 f of z value obviously 1 because in place of z i am replacing 2 means right hand side i am having only constant that to only maintain here at z equal to 1 i need to find out f dash of z value because in this particular term the second integral i am having par uh, 2 so therefore uh, f dash of 1 value is equal to 0. Now, in the first integral 2 pi i into f of z, uh, this integral multiple with 2 no, that will come here. Plus, uh, this derivative formula is 2 pi i by n factorial f power n minus 1 of n minus 1 times of z0. So, therefore, here n is equal to 2, I will get f power 1. So, f dash of z0, z0 is equal to 1, f dash of 1 is value is equal to 0, n is equal to 2. So, therefore, 2 factorial, this is not 1 factorial. And 
this value become uh, this value becomes zero because f dash of one is zero, and the last integral value plus two pi i into f of z not. Uh, here f of z not is equal to two. F of two value is one. So therefore two pi i into one in the middle term value zero. Here also in the first term f of one value is one. So that become one. 4 pi i times of 1 plus 2 pi i times of 1 totally I will get 6 pi i this is the final answer. Thank you guys.